In this video, we are going to talk about data deduplication on Windows Server 2016, and we are going to configure data deduplication on a volume to see how to use PowerShell to set up dedupe. First, a short intro. Deduplication first uh, came out on Windows Server 2012 got some uh, uh, well-needed enhancements in Windows Server 2012 R2 and has been enhanced further in Windows Server 2016. We will see the new uh, features in a further slide. Normally, the duplication was found on uh, storage devices, so on devices or appliances specially made for storage. But starting with Windows Server 2012, Microsoft brought it uh, to the mainstream. So now it is included in a Windows Server operating system and you can use it on any Windows Server operating system. Uh, very simply what DDUP does is that it finds uh, in your files that you have on the volume parts that are the same and tries of course to delete the duplicate parts and create links to files so that the total space occupied is much less than it was. The duplication can be enabled on a per volume basis and it also offers a lot of PowerShell commandlets. It's also integrated in Server Manager. The usage scenarios that are preloaded or uh, made into templates on Windows Server are general purpose file server. For this uh, scenario uh, speaks for itself. You can use the settings from this template when you use dedupe on general file servers with uh, office files and so on. The next scenario is a Hyper-V server or VDI and uh, this is something that came out a new in Windows Server 2012 R2 because on 2012 you could only deduplicate uh, VHDX files that were not used but starting with 2012 R2 you can now deduplicate uh, VHDX files that are in use. Very big improvement. Another uh, usage scenario are backup workloads and this also has seen a lot of enhancements in Windows Server 2016. So uh, if you have a DPM server, for example, you could use a dedupe to save a lot of space for the storage. And uh, how it works. So first, the duplication, after it is enabled on a volume, will scan that volume and will split the data into variable sized chunks. Then all the unique chunks are placed into a chunk store and of course the duplicate ones will be deleted and links will be created from the chunks to the files. These links are called reparse points. From time to time also the chunk store will be scanned and all the chunks that are not linked anywhere will be deleted so space will be reclaimed and in case there is any corruption uh, Windows Server will try to remediate it. And all these jobs and others that we have not covered yet are implemented in the task scheduler. And here are the actual jobs that the dupe uses. The first one is the optimization job and this is the primary job of data deduplication. This scans the files, creates the chunks, places them into the chunk store and also creates the reparse points back to the files on the hard drive. Then we have the garbage collection uh, task, which uh, is run in order to reclaim space by deleting unlinked chunks, so uh, chunks that occupy space needlessly. We also have the integrity scrubbing task. This one scans for corruption in the chunk store and if at all possible it tries to fix it. The last task has to be run manually and this is the unoptimization task. This uh, you will use only when you want to disable the duplication on a volume. 
and uh, now a couple of things that are new in Windows Server 2016 new or enhanced actually first is the fact that now the dupe supports uh, very big volumes so volumes as large as 64 terabytes and it supports a maximum file size of 1 terabyte uh, the dupe also now has support for cluster OS rolling upgrades and all the duplication tasks are now multi-threaded this is a very big improvement because now everything will actually run a lot faster okay so we have a volume let's say this is volume D that has four files on it and uh, when you enable the duplication let's say that it also creates the chunk store which you can uh, see over here now the first thing it has to do of course is scan the files and uh, separate them into chunks and find the chunks that are the same let's say that uh, this file all of it is uh, a chunk okay this one it finds only half and the other half uh, is something else good this file maybe all of it is uh, the blue chunk for some reason and we have another file which is found like this the duplication does its job and this one I guess it's more complex so it found all the chunks now it will put all the unique ones into the chunk store so we have the blue one okay we have the red one and we have the green one what it does now is start creating links to all of these uh, files so the blue chunk is linked to this file it's also linked here and uh, it's also linked here now you see these three parts the space occupied is now only once instead of for the, uh, instead of three times we have the red chunk which is also once second third so it's uh, three times and the green chunk basically no real space uh, saved here because it's it appears only one time but it still works the same it uh, is placed in the chunk store and a link is created so you can deduce that we might save a lot of space by this not very well drawn out diagram this is the very very high view of how it works but the way I like to see it usually is uh, really on a server configuring it and seeing how it works so let's jump to a machine and uh, try it out so now let's jump in and see how to use data deduplication with PowerShell I'm on a Windows Server 2016 server and I uh, created a volume in which I placed a couple of files and the three biggest files are actually the same so we should see very big improvements in the uh, occupied space after we try to deduplicate this volume so in order to start first we have to enable the duplication or to install it actually so let's install this feature And after installing it, we will get a couple of uh, commandlets for the duplication with which we can automate some of the tasks and also check the status of the duplication and so on. We will use some of them right now. 
but we before we actually go and enable the duplication i want to also show you a very cool tool that is installed with the dupe which enables you to first scan a, a specific volume and make a, a very accurate prediction of what savings you will get this tool is called ddp eval and you just run it and specify the volume and it will tell you how much space it thinks you will save by actually enabling the duplication let's run it for volume d and i will show you what it shows us okay so uh, you see volume d this is the size that uh, is occupied now number of files it processed 21 files and uh, the optimized uh, size will be this one this is how, what it thinks uh, we will get by enabling the duplication and it says that we should be able to save about uh, 576 megabytes which would be really a lot you can use this tool to make some predictions of how much the dupe will help you on a specific uh, workload but let's actually see what is uh, going on let's enable the duplication on the d volume i will uh, set the usage type to default let's enable it and one thing that i want to do which um, i guess normally you will not do or you should not do is that i want to set the duplication to deduplicate any file it finds no matter of the age uh, it is this means that uh, if i place now a couple of files and i run the duplication they will be deduplicated usually the duplication acts on files that are older than a specific uh, interval for testing this is the best uh, setting we could do and now let's start the optimization job that will uh, separate the files into chunks and create the reparse points so the task should be started we can use get the dupe job to see the status of any task or any job that is running you see that state is running progress zero percent and if i run it uh, continuously you see that it's already gone so it was very fast too fast for us but now we can use the following command to get the status of the dupe on our server and check it out for volume d we have 576 megabytes saved space so ddpfl was spot on in my opinion very good uh, uh, space savings let me also show you how this might look from server manager so we can go to uh, file and storage services we can go to volumes and on volume d i guess i should refresh and now on volume d we see that the duplication rate is 53 percent and these are the savings so the same that we can get through powershell we can also see in a server manager and also to configure the duplication for this volume just right click and you have here configure data deduplication so very simple also from the graphical interface the last thing i want to show you is also how to undeduplicate a volume so first we disable uh, data deduplication for volume d now it's disabled but it's not yet undeduplicated because we have to run the unoptimization job for this to happen so we run the job and now after some time very short time the volume should be back to normal this was a quick look at uh, what the duplication is and how to use it with powershell on windows server 2016 if you enjoyed the video please like it and share it consider also subscribing if you want to see more and thanks a lot for watching